This reading is called Christmas Cards and is written by the American Benedictine monk Albert Holtz in his Advent book From Holidays to Holy Days. His reflections are based on his daily walks around his parish in New Jersey. I am striding quickly up Elm Street behind City Hall, the police headquarters and the main post office in a neighbourhood where the houses have no front gardens but crowd right up to the pavement. I notice that in the front windows of one of the houses, someone has taped five Christmas cards, their silvers, reds and greens, standing out against the general dinginess of the area. During nice weather, I sometimes see a grey-haired woman scrubbing the cement stairs in front of his house and I'm sure that she must have put those cards there. I ask myself how she decided which ones to put up. They certainly don't match very well in size or colour. Or were these the only ones she received? I wonder if each of them means something special to her. I start thinking about my own relatives and friends who use Christmas cards to stay in touch with me each year. As I get near the corner, I can see directly ahead on the other side of Mulberry Street, a postal van parked at the loading docks behind the main post office, loading and unloading tons of Christmas mail. I think of the basket of Christmas cards in the monastery's community room and how I enjoy thumbing through them to see who is thinking of us during these holy days. Crossing toward the loading docks of the post office now, I start thinking of the thousands of Christmas cards being processed and sorted inside. Suddenly, I remember some lines from a poem by Walt Whitman. I see something of God each hour of the 24, and each moment then, I find letters from God drop street, and everyone is signed by God's name. I've always liked the image of letters from God dropped at our feet. It reminds me of St. Benedict's conviction that God is everywhere and is always trying to communicate with us, waiting for us to listen attentively and look carefully. OK then, I ask myself, has God, God dropped any letters at my feet recently? I think right away of the children in church last Sunday and how their smiles made me feel so close to God. And then there was the Christmas card I received yesterday from a young couple whose wedding I witnessed last spring. Along with the card, they enclosed a snapshot of the wedding ceremony. I smiled when I saw that picture. It was definitely a Christmas card from God. And what about that compliment from a colleague after my presentation at the college staff meeting this morning? Maybe even losing my temper with my class yesterday was a letter from God, since it told me clearly that I need to relax a little and stop taking myself so seriously. During this time of year, we can get so busy that we forget to look for the Christmas cards the Lord has dropped in the street for us. I wonder how many have I unknowingly rushed past just this week? At the corner now, I have to wait for a postal van to rumble out of the car park before I can cross Mulberry Street. As I reach the other side, I notice a man get out of a car on Green Street and walk briskly to the post box, carrying two big fistfuls of what look like Christmas cards. With his cards on their way, he turns with an air of satisfaction and strides back to his car and drives off. And it occurs to me that God must entrust me with the task of delivering many of those divine Christmas cards to others. A little favour done for a brother monk, spending 15 minutes listening to a student tell me his problems, taking special care to prepare a good sermon for the people for whom I say Mass on Sunday. God uses me to drop all these letters at people's feet, to assure them that they are loved and that the Lord is with them every minute. As I watch people going in and out of the post office, 
I decide that I'd better be looking for Christmas card from the Lord in the people and the events around me. Letters from God dropped in the street and everyone is signed by God's name. Lord, help me to listen attentively and look carefully so I can recognise in ways in which you drop letters at my feet. Even if they may be unwelcome, please help me to respond to them with love and concern. Entrust me with the task of delivering many of those divine Christmas cards to others myself, to assure them that they are loved and that you are with them every minute. 